Good evening, folks. How is everyone? It is random C64 day today. Mainly because I didn't have enough time to study up for the conference. So, uh, work is What's up, J Pones? of the Midwest. So I figured today we'd start with a new classic. The, uh, very excellent. Looks like the music is like blaringly loud. I don't know how loud I am. So, yeah, last week, last week, okay, yes, you, now you can hear me. Excellent. It really doesn't help either that uh, the music of Sam's Journey is incredibly loud. And I need to turn down my speakers. Because they're just as loud. I am feeling better. Um, it was weird. Thursday I was in a meeting around 2.33ish. I was like, man, it's really warm in here. And nobody thought anything of it. And then I got home and I took my temperature and it was like 100. And then I took it about a couple hours later. It was 101.5. And then as I was laying in bed, I was sweating profusely. And I probably got up to about 103. It's pretty, pretty uh, common of me. Greetings, Chris. And to you, Mr. C64 Television. So, like I said on tonight's uh, tonight's agenda, I have I have an option of seven games, and one of them is for next week's show. So we'll do a little Last Ninja. Uh, we're gonna do a little Sam's Journey here, um, and then we might dabble in the. Uh, some other genres. So let's go ahead and get started. Tonight's drink is a Corona. Mainly because I don't have anything else. Did I finish the game from two weeks ago? Um did I finish it on stream? No, I did not. Not Necromancer. Necromancer isn't Necromancer someone who enjoys uh, dead things, but uh, Neuromancer. And uh, I did finish the script, um, and I made it through. I made it through probably. three hours of the game and then it just got so brutally yeah I it, it got so <laughs> necromancer is a wizard like like magic okay neuromancer it, you know, you're just gonna have to wait till the review but um I'll just spare I guess ruin the show for three people and not sure I enjoyed it so much. Um, it was tedious. So like a lot of a lot of the other uh, the the other engines out there, the AGI engine, the SCI engine, Scum engine, um, they're all pretty cut and dry. Um, even even the SCI engine, where you got to type in, you know, for someone like me nowadays. But there was something about how Neuromancer. I uh, meant like. Man, it does not hold your hand for one second. So, well, let's stop looking at me, because I'm just a dude. Let's get the old Commodore 64 on screen. I think we'll continue if I got my game. Well, I played 8%. I wonder if I was playing this and something else. 
Hmm. Beat that. Looks like I beat that. Alright, well, it is. I would say... So, like... I guess to ruin everything. Neuromancer is... It is... Um, trying more than anything. And the reason why I found it so so trying was just get <laughs> another ninja, okay. Oh, I love this music. Um I think the reason is there even though there's kind of like a section in which you're having your hand held for a few seconds like in the very beginning um it isn't it isn't very long until it's not holding your hand at all And for you to progress in the game, you have to make some pretty, pretty sizable leaps of logic. But the subject matter is seriously cool. Like it's gonna be super cool. Follow. Oh, dang it. This is not good. Ah. Follow the diamonds. And I've done this part before. Funny thing is, though, Knights of Bites have been working on this for the NES for probably oh, son of a gun. Uh, maybe two or three years now. Oh gosh, yeah. Um, it's a hard game. And I find myself getting absolutely wasted at times. I think... I think I can beat it?
Stopping before handing me a. Oops. Oh boy. I didn't need that. Basically, if you don't keep a sizable chunk of change on you at all times, you will be selling your body parts. Oh, that was, oh no, I got it still. You will be selling your body parts on the black market. I know it doesn't make sense, but I do need to kill myself. I do need to commit seppuku, because I need... of him as he's flying away. And hold up. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, just about eat it. Twenty. Oh. Oh, wow. 63% better than I thought I did. Mm. Corona without fresh lime. Vive. It's the disc version. And more more annoying, it's a cracked version. Mainly because I don't remember where I left my digital copy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming it would. Hmm. He looks like somebody you don't want to mess around with. Ooh, like that. Ooh. Seriously, I did that for another. That's obnoxious. 
Aw, oh, that should kill something. What about you? If I had a... If I had something like that dropped on my head. Another one? Yeah, I gotta try that myself. I keep telling myself I'm gonna do it. Um, where'd my springboard go? That's not cool. because you have to re-hit up. Almost hit those spikes. Yeah. It's, it's definitely better than a, uh, it's definitely better than a, uh, um, ooh, cool, shoots lightning, ninja, Papa, bla oh shoot! No! No! does very much so and uh, a lot of the a lot of the the uh, power-ups remind me of Kirby especially the sword it's one I probably use the most in Kirby This is Sam's journey. I believe so. It's been a while. And I haven't really made it super far in this game. Hey, 
Hey, there were some random spikes. I've meant to play a whole bunch more of it, but really haven't. Ooh. Come on, where's my power-up, man? Where is my power-up, man? Yeah, they are top, top shelf, man. Probably some of the best that I've ever seen on the Commodore 64. And, uh, my goal here is to, uh, well, that's interesting. I want to play the other game that I kind of think is, qualifies for that as well. Jetpack! Mayhem in Monsterland. I don't think it's as polished as this, but it definitely has as cool of graphics. Yeah, I guess. Mm, probably could use that jetpack, huh? Can't hit the bees. Not you can't jump on. Them. Mm. Ooh! Oh, damn! Hit it twice. Death. <laughs> yes, this does not... Well, no. That's not completely true, Mr. Pones. Um, if you play it on an NTSC machine, yes, you do need an, R uh, an RU. If you play it on a PAL system or on something like this here, the old um, Ultimate 64... You will require... You will require a... Um, you can play it because you have the ability to play. Um, I don't even remember what the heck I'm doing here. Oh. Oh no, I did it again. Some people find it a crutch, but I find that, uh... With my Kung Fu Flash, I can play... Really? Huh. I wonder if the, uh... If the, uh... I don't know, that wouldn't make any sense, because the... Technically, the, the system would still... More qualified. Uh, did I? Oh, I see what I did. Hmm. Is the baseball kid? No, it's. Tried the cart version.
Ooh, 31%. That is excelling for the camera. I haven't played the the updated one yet, but I do have the the original demo, which plays similar. Um, they did add some features. I think I have it downloaded. I just don't have it on the on my file. It is uh, definitely one of the, you know, if if we had a, you know, if they could do that with that, then they can fix Street Fighter 2. You didn't know, if you hold down the button, you can look down and up at the same time. So you don't jump off a cliff. Whoa. On me, or are you gonna be a jerk and just stay there? Ooh. Come on, I gotta get a better run to start. Oh no, oh, sorry, I think my checkpoint's right here. It is. That would help if I did that right. I didn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, man. Oh dear. I can check that and see if, uh, it's worth posting. Hang on one second. Okay. Well, I can, uh... I can post that for you. I set up a night bot. I did have, uh... I did have two 
two uh, spammers the other day asking me if I wanted to to get some manufactured follows. And I was like, nah, not really. You got it, man. Oh, I need that springboard, huh? Duh. Oh, seriously, I just did a job there. I think what I like about this game the most is that it's approachable. Oh, boy. Ugh. It, uh, oh, maybe trouble. Oh, no. Nope. It's not. It is not overly. Oh, wild. Where am I going with this thing? Oh, crap. I didn't. And so I think I'll play this for a few more minutes. And get killed a few more times. Like that. I'm telling you, man, it's the joystick. The slick stick has, like, no... I did it again. The slick stick has like no range of movement. It's not like you have to tug on it like you do a um, a CX40 by Atari. Even my even the uh, the Hyperkin ones I use are real easy to use. It again. 
No! You spoke too soon, Jim. You spoke too soon. Stay in the ninja suit. Oh, oh, but I don't stay in the ninja suit. <laughs> All right, pretty little mama. It's time for you to crush whatever that is. Stay on the platform. <laughs> Woo! Oh, jeez. Might as well just die. <laughs> it's alright, man. I don't believe in jinxes. Ooh. Run away! Run away! Run away again! Jetpack. Jetpack. Oh boy. Trouble. <laughs> Gotta aim right on that one. Alright, that guy. That guy. Oh no. Oh, trouble. <laughs> oh. Getting harder. But then again, I think I've only played this level once. Oh no! trying to think what other game uses this. I think it's like the later Super Mario Brother games. So that's impressive for a, you know, just a good old fashioned Commodore 64. Oh, trouble. I see. Save my game. And to me, I know it's not Commodore 64, but Super Mario Brothers 3 is quite possibly the the greatest platformer of all time. Alright. We're gonna quit. So, but I think Sam's Journey, if I'm not mistaken, hey, there's SN, SNK versus Camp, Capcom right there. It's the older version. It's still pretty dang cool. I don't think there's any sound. I know, I think they improved on some of the artwork, too. I love the chibi-style characters. The, S, the SNK, like, pocket chibi characters. What I thought was cool is that you could do, you can actually do special moves. Oops, you don't jump. You can do the fireball. Oop.
see, you do the spinning kick. Oh, he's kicking my butt. He's whooping on me. Crap. Yeah, so I will definitely have to pick that up. This is very cool, though, but this is not what I intended to do. But now I have to fully reset. load All right. uh, we're gonna go and do favorites and it's not in my favorites but it is in here So I think, I think that Sam's Journey used a lot of the same tricks that they used to do Mayhem and Monster Land. Matter of fact, some of the the graphical effects um, Oh, jeez Louise. So I think some of the effects on Mayhem and Monster Land are a little cooler. But the overall game, Sam's Journeys, there's no there's no there's no comparison. Hey, it got rid of the loading screen altogether. So you have to collect ten dust. Oh there it goes. So that you can see, art style, very similar. So the goal here is to collect as many stars as you can. Yeah, it does have very smooth scrolling. And I've never got this to work properly on anything um, NTSC related. But I would say that the, uh, the gameplay is a little on the lacking side. There is no up and down scrolling. Oh. Now that I've got the ones, the ones that already shoots that shoot stars are the ones that uh, that give you the magic stars. So even killing them now doesn't really do anything.
I don't remember how to get that guy without getting hit. We'll figure it out shortly. I'm assuming. Nope. I assumed wrong. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's funny. Now let me jump off of a random platform that really doesn't exist. And it's funny because the uh, all the characters on this game are just used all over the place in other games. So there's, uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember what the other one's called. Oh, It's Magic. It's Magic uses a bunch of the same... Um, Sprites and oh crap. Okay, go. All right, so that's one side of the platform. You basically have to go back and forth and Oh, crud. Oh, that stinks. And you'll end up getting, um... You'll end up getting some, uh... You'll end up getting special, uh, special moves. One of them's a charge. And I don't remember how to use it, though. Because it has been far too long. Oh, no! I knew that was coming. Just holding the joystick for Now... Can't get that guy. And game over. <laughs> so we saw that. It's really not one of my favorite games. I think it's graphically cool. I just don't think it's incredible. Game that I've wanted to play on stream a bunch. But uh the uh the Commodore year is five years away is Midnight Resistance. It was a childhood favorite in the arcade. I played it a bunch on the Sega Genesis, and I played it a bunch on this, too. I still stink at it, but I think everybody does. recommend is Unlimited Lives, because you'll need it. Uh, start at one. Return. So in the meantime, I have been working on some things. And uh, it's a very basic basic website I put it in chat it's uh working on the southeast michigan vintage computer club and uh it isn't going very far <laughs> i'm having a hard time uh i'm having a hard time getting a hold of people at the uh the local convention center they're only open till four on weekdays
Make sure you kill the Commodore Brown guys. Because they have keys. The keys buy you weapons. Well, there's my first life. Shoots three shots, and I always get hit. They do. Um, there's two libraries in the area. Ooh. Um, Waterford Library and Clarkston Library is all within a few miles of one another. And Waterford Library does have a um, room with desk and desks, desks and chairs. Um, shoot. Seeing that I've already died twice. And we'll go for the old full auto and a bunch of bullets. Yeah, um, I think our library does a similar thing. Now it's trying to find the, uh, the time and place. But that's a really good idea.
Here you go, man. Bullets. Yeah. Why not? Run away! Okay. Going up the tree. I'm lost. Ah. Whoa. Oh, geez. That was a sneaky one. So much death in this world. Great beard dragon. Welcome, sir. You can also do hashtag commands. There's not a whole lot out there. So if you go, not hashtag, if you go like that. <laughs> Basically, you can learn about the podcast. So you can go. Podcast. And you can go. Patreon. But I plan on adding other things. another try no no, no. <laughs> took my hand off the joystick you know, let me start Shiftlock does the, uh, whatever. Oh, no. Did it just skip levels? Or did it start over? I hope it started over. I should. I should. Like, like, uh, Aaron from the, uh, from ARG Presents. Oh, I did skip levels. Well, that stinks. start over. I wanted to abort the game. Maybe it's A. It's not. There we go. I want to start from the beginning. 
C64 roulette. Chance, my luck, I would get, uh, I would get radar rat race over and over and over again. And that's, that's not, that's just not going to cut it. See, what someone should do is someone should play a dirty trick on me and um, make a C64 roulette where I have to play all crappy games. Like, uh, if I were playing, if I were playing Atari 2600, I'd have to play I Want My Mommy over and over again. We did that, uh, they did that to Aaron, uh, on the, uh, the Amigos. He had to play, uh, <laughs> I could be angry. But, um, Aaron had to play, oh, that's ball. That's too close. Come on, come on, blow up already. There we go. Throw your grenade. No, no! Well, that's no fun. Let's start that over, too. That's bogus. Let's see here, Graveyard Dragon. What? Let's check you out. Maybe kill the first, second game here. He was a bot. I sure hope he uh, got what he wanted from the club. And we'll kill that window. All right. That's kind of cool that the shift lock is the uh, pause. Oh, I got gypped right off the bat again. And I got gypped with the keys, too. Oh, that got... Let's hope I don't fall off the ladder again. Ways of bargain today. Now my weapon is supercharged. What does that do? I don't know. Instead of blue. Well, that made that a little easier.
No! Oh. Oh, cool. Gave me my gun back. Get down! I'm sorry. I said that wrong. It's get down! Get down now! Duma. Come on, kill me! Do it now! Ah. What are you waiting for? Kill me! To the chopper! I love Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, so. I'll admit, it's the stupid American in me. Yes, me too. What have you been feeding this thing? Blondes. Come on out to the coast. Get some drinks. Have some laughs. something different. Something I've never played before. <laughs> what you do is Sully. I let him go. Yes. That was one of those game one of those uh, movies that I watched probably 200 times without my parents knowing. I wanted to try out Slicks. I've never played it before. I'm a big fan of Super Sprint and Off Road. So I've heard Slicks is pretty darn good. So give it a shot. So, yeah. I think I think there is too much of a um, kind of a politically correct environment right at the moment to be able to do the kind of the kind of stuff they were doing at that point in time. Um, so like rampant, uncontrolled, you know, like like they, you can do like sick violence these days, but you can't really do like military stuff it's just it's not in the cards and i mean there are a few of them out there you know there's like the 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 um the expendables and that kind of stuff but uh, it's really hard to find good like just flat out action flicks with questionable um questionable uh, acting. So, I think what made movies like Commando and Total Recall and um, RoboCop so bad was that they were so absolutely surreal. They were 
they were parodies of kind of the the environment of the the previous era the vietnams so i'm this is slicks and i've never played it before um but it's it comes highly recommended i'm gonna start with a practice just so um we'll start in good old phoenix arizona Ooh. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Well, that ain't bad. Ooh. That's a wall. Uh, how do I get out of the wall? Oh. You don't get out of the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Um. Too, too much, uh. Ooh, there, there's my. Wow. That was right off the old start. Boy, this game, you cannot, uh, you can't bump the wall. Top down two. You know, I really want to see that. Um, no, you're right. You're right. Politics don't need to be in movies. Um, I think it just kind of alienates the purpose and makes something unnecessarily... Dang it. I'm having a hard time with these tires. I like how smooth everything is, but I'm getting getting worked. And I don't care what your politics are. I'm going to be nice to you regardless. Um, there we go. It's got smooth graphics. I just got to watch out for the tires. Oh, slow. But the camera kind of, like, the way it advances into corners makes it pretty tough. Oh, 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 yep. All right. RC Prams. Very much so. All right, let's give, let's give a race a try here. I wish they had something a little bit... I should check the other tracks. So it looks like this is qualifying. Slap. Does that mean I qualified? No, I did not qualify. I didn't get best lap. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give it a shot. I don't care who my competitors are. I wonder if this is going to be a game where, like, you're going to have to go, like, completely. Okay, so you can bounce off other cars, no problem. Just don't bounce off tires. Oh no. <laughs> Race over, man. Game over, man. Oh no. Now a new track. Ah, boy. If you didn't die almost instantaneously, I think I th this would be a whole lot cooler. But the, the smooth graphics... Actually, rather than RC Pro-Am, this reminds me of like a more... Um, almost like Micro Machines. I don't know if you've played it on either... Uh, I know it came out on PC. Yeah, well, you'd think you'd think they just kind of like you do in um, uh, Super Sprint, where you bump off of something, you kind of like spin out of the way. Someone's challenged me. Whatever that means. Oh, I 
almost hit. Ooh. A whole bunch of speed there I thought I'd made up on them. Well, this course is a little... a little more predictable than, say, the last one. Alright. I'm liking it so far. does seem like the uh, the computer characters are going to be brutally hard. Oop, crap. Oh, no. Here I was looking around at my screen here and that screwed up my rhythm. Okay, down is slow down. So if I want to hit the brakes real hard, that's how you do it. Ooh, almost went in the pool. All right, well fourth is my best so far. Or yeah, there's no tires. <laughs> I have nothing to aim at. Well. So far, so good. This is, this is neat. almost tired I almost retired <laughs> no definitely not the same track as the picture Better than me, they are significantly faster. It's almost I, I didn't see any upgrades, or maybe if, maybe if you choose a different brand of car, you get more speed and better handling of other things. Maybe I can bounce off of tires and other models. Maybe, maybe I get some really sharp attire in other models of cars. Oh no! There we go. like a soft place to put down. Death tires. The Michelin man would be disappointed. The Michelin man would say, I'm softer than that man.
Actually, I don't think that Michelin Man says anything. Oh, well, there, there's that's qualifying for you. Hey, bounce off that uh, stone stanchion there. Ooh, boy. Sure. <laughs> it's one of my favorite uh, Jim Jim Gaffigan jokes. Oh no, not Jim Gaffigan. Uh, 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 Brian Regan jokes. Why do they call it softball? It's not like you're out in the outfield. You get hit in the face with a softball, and you're like. Hey, don't worry about that. That's just blood light. Out here in the middle of the outfield, floating around like angels. Oh, no. I'll admit, the controls are rather touchy. Quit getting in front of me, Jack. Oh, oh crap. I feel like I'm relegated to just merely taking fourth place. Because... Third through first is like way gone. I'm gonna be relegated to fifth. I don't knock it off. Oh, it was almost relegated to last there. Ooh. Oh no! Whoa! I wow! Wow! I can't believe I didn't just plow into that big old pylon. <laughs> Take that! So I got I got a race for Williams, Brabham, or McLaren. Louise, that was some bad camera placement. That one's just like wide open the whole time. Hey, look, fourth place. What a surprise. Oh, I, I see. They all have faster cars. Wow. I've heard of Black Tiger. I don't think I've played the C60. Well, no, I have played the C64 version. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to beat those guys. Looks like the pink guy kind of like hung out for a second. Like he was going to just let me through. And they're gone. I think I should be able to cut through the infield, win the race. Ooh, I almost retired early. <clears throat> The only, the only line that's coming to mind is uh, 
from Wayne's World. You are one sad and pathetic loser. Oh no, that's uh that's uh um Venkman from Ghostbusters. Maybe it's just Bill Murray something or another. I don't know. Off the reason of tomorrow there wasn't one today. I don't know if I had any hope of catching up. That's gone. You just had the fourth place car. You are right. How do I get in a better car? I guess I have to challenge somebody. So if I bump up and challenge the next guy, maybe I can take his place. I just got to make sure I do it on a course where I'm not going to go piling into a bunch of tires. That is a long back way. Or back straight away there. Ooh. That one... You're going to need some brakes. Ooh. Fourth place. Jody is challenging. Oh, hot. Just. Not like I get to challenge anybody else. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you two jerks. Great. Yeah, you guys just keep running into one another. Backstretch. Bad spot. Yeah, uh, uh, racing construction set. That can be on the list. That is a very good game. Matter of fact, a little piece of history is the game racing construction set actually exists. Well, it's kind of a spiritual sequel. But the game Rock and Roll Racing is basically the similar engine, but the same concept. Written by the same guys, too. Oh, yeah. I like this. Oh! Except for I almost ran into a, a fence there, don't you know? But now I just need a faster car. Can't do that if What's-Her-Head keeps challenging me and then losing pathetically. Scratch my beard. Hmm. Now I guess I need to challenge Josh for his Lotus. Oh. <laughs> you, you only have a certain amount of time to get to the top. Now is it just one season? Or do I get another season? Nope. Just one. That was pretty cool though. I'm thinking that one's going in the the bin for review. 
All right. And I think it's racing destruction set, if I'm not mistaken. That didn't work. Racing destruction set. Mount disc. Oh, this one doesn't like my. This one doesn't like my uh, fast load. Mmm, skunky. Ugh. Tastes like a combination of lime and corn checks. It's not boating well. Yeah, I think Jiffy DOS is like 92% compatible, so... And, and it only has problems with very select few games. I don't know if I'd want to continually rotate my ROM set, though. Is it is it quick to just... Excuse me. <sighs> okay, nope, nothing happened. Um... Is switching the the ROM set is it quick, or does it have to do like a full on flash of the the uh... <laughs> yeah yeah I guess that is the 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 type the 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 kind of sign off of the show is it's worth the loading time, but uh, I'll admit having a fast loader is quite nice. Set the options, set the level. I suck, so we'll leave it on. We'll leave it on novice. And we'll throw three laps in there. And it's cool because you can do the destruction side of things where you can blow each other up. You can also change gravity so it's less or more. Let's go Saturn. We'll make it a little more floaty. So, let's start a race. But, um, that really, um, stinks on my behalf because I, I, <laughs> I owned an Epix fast load cart, but I never knew what it did. So I never plugged it in and used it. Back, back when you didn't have the internet, you know, oh yeah, I got the, I got the fast load cart. What does it do? But I don't know. <laughs> you think, you think I just, you know, uh, vehicle, computer vehicle testing jumps hit F3 to stop test. No, we can just go with it. <sighs> hmm. So anyway, um, I just remember being absolute. The, the moment I found out what it did, it was already too late. It was, it was years into me playing the C64. Ah. The controls are a little bit more difficult here on the old, on this one. Uh, on slicks, a left-hand corner is uh, is the uh, you hold the button you hold the button to go in left and right turns. Ugh, yeah, you can't you can't land poorly on these jumps. Ice. Oh, 
Ooh, crap. Crap. Boy, you really gotta... You really gotta hit this thing right. No, there really wasn't, was there? Um, you know, I guess you did have... Um, I suppose you did have stuff like uh, um, Pit Stop 2. You really gotta slow down on those. Boy, you could... I don't think the computer tested the jumps all that well. My gosh. Just flopping all over the place. That was weird. Now this reminds me more of something like uh, like an RC Pro-Am. Good lord. Come on. Wee. Ice. But I think if, I think if I'm not mistaken, all of the tracks are procedurally generated. I don't think they're loading pre-done tracks. I don't recall. It's been a really long time since I played this. Wee! I won. There's a couple of them. Um, there is. Um, one of my favorite ones that's actually on the C64 is um, Badlands. It's a single screen. So there's three of them that I can recall. There's um, Iron Man Stewart's Off-Road, or Super Off-Road. And that one had three steering wheels, kind of in a, a half hex pattern. And then there was Super Sprint. Yes, yes. And there's actually a Commodore 64 version of that that's pretty good, too. Matter of fact, let's just jump to that guy. Because, you know what, we can. Because I just feel like it. Jumping all over the place. Today is Racing Thursday. All right. Uh, what's it under, though? Is it under Super Off-Road? Alright. Lots of Super Games. Super... Not Super Off-Road. So maybe it's... Ivan... There it is. Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off Road. Iron Man. It's not. <laughs> I think. I think if I do sound effects, they're all just gonna be. They're all just gonna be Arnold Schwarzenegger sound effects. Or people picking on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like the uh, Hans and Franz, they will pump you up. When they say that Arnold will flick you with his littlest finger. And you land in a pile of your own baby poo. Oh, dude. Look at his left eye. 
That looks horrible. Does he got like a bloodshot eye or something? Or just, is that just really bad art? Yeah. <laughs> Only the red car wins off. How do I not do any of this? Okay. Oh, it's inappropriate. I can't put it on YouTube. I played a rabid ton of this too when I was a kid. Um, I had three first, four versions of this game, and I'm getting my butt whooped. The uh, the Commodore 64 version is a little on the floaty side. I think it's got some of the best graphics of the 8-bit era, um, but the uh, the NES version definitely plays better. doesn't need all that cash. Oh, that sucks. Come on. Come on. Oh, pinch. I'm going to be out of stinking turbos by the time I get anywhere done with this here. Pulled it off. But I used way, way too many turbos. So you gotta spend your money and upgrade your car. Uh, I think we'll go for some acceleration. I just went from first to last, like, instantaneously. This is the spot in every race you will get stuck on this game. That that corridor there just is troublesome. So, like I said, I had four versions of this game, and, like, three of them were legit. Um, I had a version of the NES. Um, I had um, this one. Uh, and I had the later DOS version, that was a VGA version, and I think that one was technically the best. And I played it a lot on the Sega Genesis as well. Of course he gets past me, and he ends up with the money. And he pushes me into a wall. Nitros, nice. And I just went backwards. I'm in trouble. Unless I go fast. Come on, go, go. Oh. Oh, just beat me. I had to continue there. I need new tires because I am just sliding around every corner. And now I, Iron Man is going to use all of his... Oh, I missed the turbos. Crap. Agreed. Agreed. 
Oh wow, I got a fifty thousand dollar bonus on that one. All right, so now I need tires. That's a glitch. I've never lapped anybody on this game before. That's crazy. Do it right, you never need to use your turbos. And I have to use my turbos. Ah. Uh, focus. tires and I'm still falling around the corners. I want to know what sponsorship they get and why they always have like 20 something, 30 something turbos.
Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is stereotyping. Oh, that's full. <laughs> oh, he got hung up, too. There we go. Come on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Iron Man clearly, clearly makes $200,000 per race, and I don't ever get that kind of cash. Oh. Iron Man just went the wrong way. He's not he's now two laps behind. He got last place. That never happens. He has unlimited continues, though. Oh, I think I'm just gonna go for the... Go for the top speed, don't you know? Okay, I got trapped again. Come on, Blue. Get off, man. Get off me. Now they're all going to start conspiring. But as you can tell, the uh, the some of the gaps because of just the sheer the sheer blockiness of of uh, Commodore graphics, the uh, collision detection gets a little questionable. And if I don't get and I don't get ahead of at least two of these guys, I am going to have to continue. him. Oh, unless he goofs up. And he did. Woohoo! Woo, that was close. Okay. I bought the best tires. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, it's three times now it's done that. My nitro ain't gonna cut it, buddy. So now... Ivan clearly has the same truck as I do, and he just got three extra nitros, and I only have two left. That is going to be problematic. Oh, I missed him! He doesn't need more. Well, I won. It's all going to turbos. Probably gonna be faster than me now. Yeah, you guys keep beating up on each other. I have no problem with that. Uh oh, going too fast. Oh crap.
Yep, still going too fast. Everything's showing up behind me. some questionable questionable mechanics oh no oh no stop stopping straight up got turned around he ran out of turbos where's he getting all these turbos from Acceleration slowed down. That's uncool. can't even turn around. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, there's no way I'm pulling myself out of this one. Might as well just capture the cash. Yep. Ivan is way ahead of me. And he just got that 50 grand. That sucks. Alright, just get the bag of cash. Alright. I'll have to continue. But, I just made 200 grand. Alright. I am fully upgraded. Trouble. I have no clue who got that. Now. I still don't think I like country music, though. My wife sure does.
Jeez. Everybody is super aggressive now. And breaking is not even working at all. Oh no! close. I can't go to bed without dying, so let's see how far I get before the wife kicks me out of the bedroom. Oh no, this is it, folks. Oh, oh nope, turn it around. Turn it around. This is the track where they always get stuck. Hopefully. Hopefully Ivan and this yellow guy get tangled up up here real soon. Oh, shoot! Holy crap, he's hauling! And he's picking up all the bags of cash. I'm just pushing him around the track. Oh, come on. Come on. And he just picked up another. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. I think that's it, folks. I think that's all, folks. Game over, man. Game over. Well, there we have it, folks. You've wasted another two hours watching me play Commodore 64 games. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to, to Jim Pones and and Chris Petzl and uh, I think uh, I think Nivrig's gone. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for being kick-ass. Uh, uh, Patreon supporters, members of the Fast Load Collective, I did not forget about you, and uh, I do not remember. Uh, I do not remember uh, never plucking you guys in. So, um, have yourself a heck of a week. Um, this weekend, the next episode, the second episode of Fine and Tandy will be out. Um, Neuromancer is written and in the books and uh we'll uh we'll see how that turns out so wow look at how slow it goes now it feels like this game is like barely moving whatsoever that's funny i guess i guess you really pick up speed that's cool anyways like i said thanks for hanging out and uh we'll talk to you on the flip side oh and uh, per special request on somebody on Facebook, I decided to record this. So, um, not that you'll want to sit through and watch this again, but you can if you want to. And that'll be at, uh, I do believe it's youtube.com forward slash Commodore Chronicles. I gotta check if that's the right URL. But I do have a Commodore Chronicles YouTube channel. It has nothing on it, but it'll have this one if I uh, figure out how to upload it tonight. So, uh, like I said, thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, guys. See ya.